What's up, YouTube? It's been a week since the last update in Inter Calvahave, in the country of San Marino, in Hattrick, the football manager game that we all love. We've gained a few more fans, that was expected. We have signed some wingers for the training spots, not all of them, but the 100% training spots should be covered by now. We've played a friendly, and we have played the second league game by the time this video will be released. The first thing I have to tell you is that I've made a slight mistake regarding the youth team. Let me just show you. So I was fairly certain that the financial update in San Marino would be the same day that you played the league match, but to my horror, I learned yesterday, I'm recording this on Sunday, that it's on Saturday. So I actually hired my my second scout and then realized, oh damn, I won't be able to make a pull this week. So I basically wasted his, uh, his wages this first week. Good on me. Anyway, now I can uh, mark off that I've made my first official mistake with this team. So now that we've done that, we can rest at ease and know that we'll be making other mistakes in the time to come anyway. Now let's have a look at the four players we've signed. Let's go to the transfer history and have a look. Let's see. The first guy we signed was Delio Minarelli. He's an Italian and he's, uh, we are going to train him uh, at the wing position. He has the head specialty, which is uh, always useful. So passing uh, at passable, winger passable, playmaking inadequate and weak defending as well and how much did we pay for this guy we paid 75,000 euros for him and I was quite surprised to see a great deal of fluctuation in the prices of these um, winger prospects because they're all kind of the same level let's have a look at the next one that's Johnson Odom or Otim I don't know how to pronounce that he's from Uganda he's not quite as good in the side skills, but he's uh, comparable to the uh, the first uh, trainee Minarelli. He's uh, passable in winging, uh, in wing play, passable passing, and inadequate scoring. He's unpredictable. And this guy, yeah, I think we paid uh, one eighteen thousand euros for this guy. All right, on to the third prospect, Tully. Nava Lua Rua. Uh, kind of hard to pronounce. He's from Oceania and he's around the same uh, six or passable in winger, six passable in playmaking, and five inadequate defending. This guy is also unpredictable. So you'll notice that all of the trainees we've bought this time around. Um, We'll have a spec. The final, final piece of the puzzle regarding the 100% training spots is Julio Macado, and he's from Spain, with passable winger, inadequate uh, five passing, inadequate five scoring, weak playmaking that's level four, and weak defending level four as well, and a head specialty. And we paid 21,000 euros for this guy. That means that in the, the upcoming league match, about to start in 23 minutes, we'll be giving the the, f the full debut to Minarelli and Navarula uh, in the league game. So we'll see. Uh, the final bit of the this video about the, the actual league game will be called after the game. That means that we are ready to start hiring some assistants. So let's have a look at the staff and see. Yeah, we definitely know that we'll need two assistant coaches and we'll just hire them for 16 weeks because that's the most profitable at this point. And we, we should be able to sustain this already. So we'll be hiring the level five coach. That's one assistant coach rather and we'll pick another one for 16 weeks assistant coach here we go and as you can see 
This will increase the injury risk in each game. Therefore, we now have an increased injury risk of 25%. So we'll also hire a doctor. 16 weeks, this is the long term gain. And we'll just go with the level five doctor as well. Now we're ready to train. And yes, I am fully aware that we only have a passable coach um, and that's the next next bit to the puzzle along with finding the, uh, the four players that we train in the 50% slots we'll have to find a solid coach with um, poor leadership in order to increase the training speed just a bit more the good thing about the training trainer upgrade is that that comes without an increased injury risk so that's very nice Now onto something a little more prestigious than a friendly for a newly started team. So in the Hattrick Masters, which is essentially like the Champions League of Hattrick, we saw ACN Fiorentina of China beat Hadar of Bulgaria four goals to two. And it was a, a surprise result, but you have to get Hadar credit for the uh, Heroes of Might and Magic 3 reference with the Behemoth. Um, logo there that's pretty nice to see um, from what i've uh, i've been following the masters a bit and i could certainly tell that hadar was like brute forcing most of the games with ridiculous ratings all the way through but acn fiorentina did play a quite daring all-out attack um, strategy and won so uh, big ups to uh, to fiorentina there because they had been mixing it up during the masters Nice to see. The final thing we have to look at today is the match, the league match. And probably last week the result was a little unfair on uh, on Trubke and we didn't manage to beat them on, uh, on away ground this time. We lost three goals to one. But it wasn't all terrible for us because we uh, instructed our guys to play it cool, meaning that we gained some team spirit in the end. And it was indeed an exciting match for the new prospect uh, Minarelli, who was just recently uh, transferred to the club. He did actually have quite a few actions in the game. He did create the first uh, wing special event. And just a few minutes later, he did it once again and made an assist for uh, Umberto Sonsini. Some very nice uh, debut there. In the end, he did get a yellow card. Um, yeah, but uh, he was uh, certainly in the mix today. So, not, um, not the best result, but uh, probably fair. Fair enough. So let's just have a look at the team spirit here. So we did have a, a few instances of, a, of the newly bought players having a bad starts to the, to the life in the club, meaning that our base team spirit was a little lower. So we are at calm and we have a very high sub level of uh, calm in team spirit for the match next week. Let's uh, just have a quick look at the next uh, league round. Adriana Calcio and that's a uh, bot basher so that will be uh, hopefully three Chikur points next week we are currently fourth behind Gattineri, Chupke and this bot team that won today but soon enough uh, I'm fairly sure we'll be up in third place again that's all for this week folks next week I am fairly certain that I'll be able to present a new match kit. Have a great week. I'll see you in a week's time with the next update.